Hey guys, Rob here and welcome back to Rob's Model Cars. Now I've got another brand new model review for you guys today and we've got another Liberty Walk car. But before we get into that, I want you guys to go and check out my new range of merch. This is another one of my limited edition shirts. This is my LB collection shirt. Uh, so links at the end of this video and also in the video description. So go on and check it out. I've got lots and lots of different shirts um, and hoodies for you guys. So uh, help support the channel and keep it going. All right, let's get into today's model review. So what I've got to show you today is the brand new GT Spirit Lamborghini Mura Liberty Walk Edition. Now this real car was debuted I think in 2017 uh, and a lot of people went crazy, blew up the internet and said, uh, Kato-san, how can you chop up a Lamborghini Mura because they're a classic and they're worth so much money. Truth be told, it was actually a Ford GT that had a replica Lamborghini Mura body on it. So once uh, that information was found out, um, less people were angry. I'm sure the Ford fanatics were still angry that he chopped up a Ford GT, uh, but that's crazy Kato-san. He will chop lower and wide body anything. So um, you guys know I love my Liberty Walk cars and the collection is quite large at this point. So I definitely thought I wanted to add this one to the collection. Okay, let's have a look at the model. So they just come in these uh, matte black boxes with the gloss black GT Spirit and 118 logos on there. Uh, label on the end of the box what car is inside. Model is in a foam shell inside to protect it during shipping, which is great. Uh, does come with a little quality control card as well that says someone has checked out the model. If we lift off the lid, uh, here is the Liberty Walk Lamborghini Mura. Now these are screwed into the base so they don't move around during tra transport, which is a good thing, otherwise uh, they'd end up broken when we got them. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, so far it looks really good. The paint finish looks amazing on this model. So uh, I'll get this unscrewed from the foam shell. Uh, we'll put it on the turntable and we'll have a closer look at this brand new GT Spirit Liberty Walk Lamborghini Mura. Now before we do that, uh, I'll just want to say that really uh, bang for your buck GT Spirit are actually getting really good. They have a really diverse range of models for sale um, and the quality I think is getting better with each new batch of releases. So uh, as I said this was around 129 euro I think. I did get this from Car Lover Diecast in China. Uh, I buy a lot of these GT Spirit models from him because he is the cheapest for me in Australia. Um, but really, for the variety of models they make, even though they are sealed resin models, uh, I think you're getting pretty good value for money if you compare them to the high-end resin models. So anyway, um, we'll put this on the turntable and we'll have a closer look. Okay, so here we have the GT Spirit Liberty Walk Lamborghini Mura. So this thing is long, low and slammed to the ground. Um, it's quite an interesting uh, version uh, when you see these older cars with a Liberty Walk uh, conversion to them. Uh, but it's just such an iconic demo car from Liberty Walk that I had to add it to the collection. So I think overall GT Spirit has done a pretty good job of this model. As I say, it's not really a high-end resin model. Uh, it's more sort of a lower-end resin model. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, you'll have to excuse uh, some fingerprints on this model because it is black uh, and I do have to handle it. So, overall, the paint finish on this model is absolutely uh, excellent, actually, I have to say. Um, I have no imperfections or marks in the paint. It's super, super glossy, super, super black, uh, but just shows the fingerprints because I'm basically handling it. So, I will give it a clean up before it goes in the display case. But Look, overall, I'd have to say the paintwork is actually really, really good. So I'm quite impressed. I think GT Spirit, as I mentioned, is getting better uh, with the paint finishes on their models. Uh, and this one doesn't seem to have any dust inside the model as well, which is nice. Some of the earlier GT Spirit models I reviewed uh, were actually dusty inside. So uh, none of those issues with this one. Paint looks absolutely superb. So let's go through the details. Uh, there is no real mesh on this model. Uh, it is a lower end model and I'm not sure how much mesh there would be anyway. Um, you can just see the radiator in the front there. Uh, it's just got a matte black front splitter on here. It does have a nice little photo etched Lamborghini crest on the nose. 
the headlights also, I'm not sure whether you can pick up the detail, uh, but they do have some lines in the lenses. Not super, super detailed, but they look pretty good for the model, no complaints. You do have this big air outlet here, uh, and you can actually see in behind, there is uh, the back of the radiator, and you've got some radiator fans as well. Uh, nice little chrome fuel cap here coming through the hood, which, which is a nice touch. Of course, you've got the Lamborghini flared extensions here. Uh, nice little bits of rivet work around these side vents, which looks quite good. Windscreen wiper is just plastic, but it does the job. It looks, it looks correct and looks in place. Uh, and you've got a silver trim around the window as well. Now, I'm pretty sure that would be chrome on a Lamborghini Miura, but again, um, it's going to be easier for GT Spirit just to paint that silver rather than chrome. So um, that would be nice if that was a chrome finish, but not to be. Uh, you've got these little bullet style side mirrors. Now these are full chrome uh, and they're pretty good, the material behind there for the mirrors. Uh, that's quite acceptable. Um, if we come around to the side of the car, uh, the sills curve around a lot on these mirrors and you've got your LB Performance logos here. Uh, and some little latches as well for the front and rear. Of course you've got the uh, rear wide arch flares here as well uh, to fit the bigger wheels uh, and you've got the traditional ducktail spoiler LB works which is quite cool. Uh, it does have some little simulated rivets along here uh, and that finishes off with the Advan sticker underneath. Um, the tail lights are okay on this model, uh, not extraordinary but they're okay. And of course you've got your chrome exhaust tips and you've got your license plate on the back as well. So overall the details are reasonably good. Uh, as I say, this is not a super high end resin model. Uh, this is a cheaper end resin model. But for those that collect Liberty Walk models like me, uh, I think you've got to get this one and add it to the collection. Now it has a little bit of detail underneath but not a lot just basically a simulated uh, sump and uh, bottom of the gearbox there but there's not a lot really uh, just a limited edition number on there 499 um, was it 499? no 495 out of 999 so uh, just under a thousand units they'll be making of this uh, and there's a few other variations as well the Asian exclusive with the red stripes on the back of the Advan series uh, but overall it's pretty good. Nice decal work uh, on the car, on the doors. You've got some NGK logos and your Advan logos. And of course you've got the uh, number here as well, LB Works number four. So look, overall I'm pretty happy with this model for the amount of money that I spent. Uh, the wheels, as of course with these older sports cars, wheels are a lot smaller. Uh, they do have a nice big chrome deep dish wheel with black centers. Uh, you've got your Advan tyres with the yellow Advan writing on there um, and tiny little disc brakes in behind there with gold calipers I think. Uh, they look gold to me. So yeah, overall pretty good. Uh, they're not super wide the tyres on here but maybe you can't fit really wide tyres on a real mirror. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have any mirror models as I collect all post 80s onward supercars. Now, uh, on the engine cover here we do have these uh, matte black louver panels. Now hopefully you guys can see but there is actually an engine underneath here with uh, induction trumpets. So you can see the four induction trumpets in there. Not sure whether you can see that. Uh, hopefully you get a glimmer and maybe you can see there is actually an engine in there and somewhat of an exhaust system as well. So. Yeah, not sure whether any of that's going to show up on camera, uh, but hopefully you can see it. So trust me when I say there is actually an engine in there underneath those louvers. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not sure how much, um, whether I want to actually um, pull these out and have a look, uh, but I think I'll just leave the model alone. So yeah, hopefully you can see those engine trumpets in there. Now the interior, we've got these simulated sliding race windows on the side. Um, the plastics are reasonably clear that they use for the windows. As I say, they're not as clear as a BBR or MR uh, resin models, the windows, but uh, this is a lot cheaper model, so uh, it's quite satisfactory. 
The interior again is not super detailed, uh, it just has a plain black dashboard, quite smooth, black steering wheel, black centre console, um, you've got your gear shifter in there and your handbrake handle, uh, just black seats in there as well uh, with a buttoned pattern. Uh, and I can't see any seat belts in there, but uh, yeah, the interior is pretty basic, but at the end of the day, um, not a high-end model. This is just going to sit amongst all my other Liberty Walk cars, just because this was uh, Liberty Walk's demo car, and it was sitting at Tokyo Auto Salon, so I've got to have this one sitting in the collection with all the other Liberty Walk cars as well. But look, overall, pretty good execution. There's a couple of little areas like the chrome around the window that could be actual chrome uh, and maybe a little bit more detail on the interior. Um, but overall, reasonably happy with this model for the amount of money I spent. So uh, if I was going to give this a Rob score out of 10, I'd probably be a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. So uh, if it came on a nice base uh, and it had a few more details in here, then I'd say it's probably worth another point. But as I say, cheaper cheaper end of the resin scale models and uh, quite happy just to have it in the collection for the amount of money I paid for it. So that's going to basically wrap up today's video review of this GT Spirit Liberty Walk Lamborghini Mura. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and you can follow me on social media as well. So I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and I do have an eBay store where I do sell some models on, so go and check out. All the links are on the homepage of this YouTube channel. And again, don't forget to go and check out my new merch, 118 by Rob's Model Cars, uh, and grab yourself something for Christmas time. Help support the channel. But yeah, that's going to basically wrap up today's review of this GT Spirit Lamborghini Mura by Liberty Walk. Um, stay tuned, plenty more model reviews to film and get out before Christmas. But until next time, thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars. Perfect.